Hello, Umbra Body, and welcome back to more Monster Train. We we playing as Stygian Primary, Umbra Secondary. I don't know when we're gonna start just like throwing the original spells and champions back in the mix just to see how they interact. I would imagine probably after we've, you know, tried out some more of these weird new combos. Each champion, of course, has three unique paths. And we have not, you know, we've not really played around too much with each of those. So we're going to go and continue our climb here. Governor rank 16. Let's see what we can make happen here. Uh, you know, we got to cast a lot of spells effectively. Sap. I feel like this is an okay f final fight for us. I mean, like, I don't love it, but I'm, I'm kind of fine with it. Uh, Talos fell. I don't know. Sh I, I don't know at what point we should maybe, like, consider... Well, I mean, I guess knowing Fell is coming up means we might want to focus a little bit more on AoE. Because we do have to get past the statues, of course. So if we can't get past those statues, I guess that's an issue. So, huh. I, I, yeah, I guess that's probably worth considering. I don't think we should really build around our first boss too hard. Uh, and as for this, I think I'm actually going to go for the champion upgrade first. I'm not even hyper familiar with what all we've got here. Like, we've done this one. We've done this one quite a bit. Incant, gain shard one if I have four stacks of shards for move phase. And then it's a big unit. I... I don't know, man. Like, I don't know that I like it that much. <laughs> But I, I'm going to go for it. 25% chance to deal 5 damage when an enemy unit enters your train or merchant cost reduced by 25. This is crazy tough because I that would solve the issue I was literally just talking about. But merchant cost being reduced by 25% as your first artifact in the entire run is so hard to pass up. Uh, okay, so step one. We need to start casting spells. I wonder if, so he has this, he has phased, but can he, can he potentially still eat morsels? We don't have to find out. So he's just going to be a very nice, big, chunky unit from deep below. I probably should have done something to try to uh, pop that fool there, but, so that's gone. We've activated him, and I don't think... I don't think that there's any uh, any real reason to cast spells on the floor anymore. I, I mean, I could be wrong. I, I'd love to get an extra little shield there, and then this, nothing matters. All right. I mean, yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. We got Antumbra Assault. We can do that to get some guaranteed morsel action here. We're going to take even less damage. We can't kill Ario. I, I mean, I'm trying to just think if there's any way to flex here. Just even harder. Like, I don't really want to kill that unit, really. But life steal and uh, damage shield don't stack. So, honestly, I probably <laughs> made things worse in theory as if they mattered. I I'm deeply curious what the extra upgrade path of this unit is. Of this champion. Is it like, now you have to cast eight spells, but his stats are even bigger you know could it be that is that what it is i don't know so i really don't know how to build here titan's tooth obviously like all of these um offering cards have natural synergy with foregone power should i do it i don't know hmm the crystal, crystallis is good. Energy siphon is just a nice way to get extra little stats there. Uh, spell weakness can be nice to get guaranteed kills with like something like Antombra Assault. And we can even get two, uh, two things there, but I don't know. The fact that Titan's Gratitude is attuned is important to consider as well. That means it gets 5x effects. 5x effects from magic power. So 10, 10 magic power increase puts it at 75 damage. That is pretty crazy. I'm going to take it. 
It's a little weird. Cannot be targeted anyway. So we cannot target it with Primal Dust. I kind of like the idea of Space Prism because it's it's a consume card, so it's not really taking up space in our deck in the same way. Uh, Gorge Lifesteal. I can't believe I've never had a win with Alloyed Construct. To the point where I'm so confused by it that I'm just going to make today be the day. Today's the day. Upgrade a unit with Endless. Incant, gain armor, damage shield three. Genuinely, damage shield three seems kind of good for that uh, for that card. I mean, the fact that he kind of he takes just a little extra time to get cracking, and you don't want him to die before that happens. Uh, non non boss enemy units get plus four attack. Get a unit draft. Eee. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I probably should. Like, I think if, if you're going for points, obviously it's really important to do that, but. Okay. Six, so if we do this and we go for that, he will indeed be able to attack. He cannot attack without fuel. Blink again. Good deal. Do want to make sure you have this and here we go this will be the moment of truth okay it does get eaten it does get eaten i'm glad we could check that now and life steal right, nobody's gonna be even losing any hp here Oop. yeah you're getting, you're getting extra out of the mix i don't know wait were they not going to be eaten? Were they not going to be eaten? I couldn't even, couldn't even truly tell there. Uh, okay. Not much we can really make happen here. Should I just put a train steward out front to chump block, life steal? No, because then the life steal goes to waste. This will net us more HP or more damage, I imagine. All right, extra stack of shard, why? I don't know, why not? Frostbite on everybody and that's enough to do it. Okay, and then the damage shield should net us uh, like one less hit even. Nothing, nothing matters at this point. I just like to get my overkill when I can. I'm, I'm kind of digging this unit, these these raw stats are pretty good, and four is four is not hard to get to. Offering token is tempting. Seven magic power on this floor is tempting. I do sort of like the idea of going for a, a deck where we get to, you know, we get to use a little bit more of these units that we normally don't go for because, you know, we don't have the border on them, which means we have not won a run with them at the very least. All right, let's... Let's go big number. 75. That's a lot. Spell cost down. Could we? Should we? Hold over. I don't... I don't know. Kind of like... B number. Spell weakness two, frostbite six. I don't think that any of that's really worth it. We could go for something like, I kind of like the idea of a, uh, of putting that on Plink. 21 damage twice is like a, that's genuinely a good spell. Like by itself, that's genuinely a good spell. I don't think double stack is worth it on any of these. I don't know, 12, 12. For one mana, 12 AoE Frostbite is good. Is it worth 65 bucks? Ah, eh, well, remains to be seen. 
resolve. Okay, so this could obviously, like, that alone could solve the alloy construct. You know, let's just do it. They're, they're good boys, good boys together. Purge a unit, purge a spell, get an upgraded version later. Let's do that. I think that we have enough of these. And I'm curious to see what we get later. It's probably like, uh, I think it, when we get these back, it usually is like, uh, if you hold on to this, you gain five HP if you don't, if you don't spend it or something like that. So we'll see, we'll see. It's probably nothing, but I think we got plenty. See, if I put down the Mollusk Mage, that would still get attacked though. That's, that's a little finicky. It's definitely a little finicky. Also, I don't love, I don't love that. I should have definitely put down Soul Guard first. We, we kind of made a misplay there. The question is, is it enough of a misplay to change everything up? I'm thinking probably not. Do this down here. Duh. Morse Maker up here. Duh. So if I put these back here, they're going to get attacked. That is really interesting. Plink. Golden. Right? Yeah, that's getting attacked. So the, And there's two hits. Oh, no. Wait. On Slay. So if you put another one down, you will get that Slay proc, which I definitely did not want. So I guess we will just... Uh, Lifesteal has no value because of the shield there. This is kind of just a stank situation. And then we, of course, discarded the incorrect thing there. <sighs> is it worth it to put down two morsels just so that... No, it's not. It's not. Because then she gets an extra 25 armor, which I really don't feel like dealing with. There. You got... Now you got some stats. Got some stats, but I, I would rather you not take that damage. There's nobody we can... I guess we could kill you and get some extra stats that way. That helps. It's an extra 4 HP there, and this is a kill. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry, train steward. Ooh, I don't like this. Ooh, I don't like this. Glad we went for that 4 HP. This is... This is awful. This is awful. Like, to the extent that I think we just genuinely... I think we just do that. Like, I hate it. And I hope that we can put some units in front there. But, like... I feel like that's too much to... Uh, too much to pass up. Okay. I, I, like, I do not like that extra armor. Like, hip, hip, hooray. It does suck. Okay, there we go. Lifesteal, and now the damage shield will probably... Like, I, I think that that'll be effective, right? I think. Yeah, damage shield, so we'll get, we'll get, we're get we're going to get one back. Can't freaking talk. Oh, heck. So we have to waste... We have to waste the whole thing there. Uh, I don't love it. Because I can't do this into this for the kill. I really wish you just had two of us health or we had a way to... If we had another Antumber Assault in our hand, that would be nice. No questions asked. That's, that's a good idea right there. Uh, and then I guess we do just... Do just do what we can do. There, that's a kill. All right, and not to mention the fact that you would have like gone out to the second floor where you would have been absolutely wrecked. <laughs> Gifts for regard, I do really like it. I definitely, have, I've definitely want. Well, maybe it was on like a a daily, or I was playing a lot of custom runs, and those ones don't count. 
<sighs> hmm. Gifts for a guard, Plink, is actually like kind of a fun, soft little combo because you can also get them out of your deck. I don't hate Gifts for a guard as an option at all. I just, I love the card. No, I know, I know, I know I'm going to regret it. Oh, well. And then I think that uh, getting a good front line for our unit down bottom is going to be a good call, too. Genuinely. Genuinely, I want some mana. Like, extra space would be so nice. It'd be so nice. But I think we got to Twenty magic power. So that's an extra 100 damage on... Uh, Extra 100 damage on Titan's Gratitude. Tempted to just get another. Also tempted to get a Gifts for a Guard. They're kind of fun when you, they... Well, I don't know. Having more than one doesn't work great. I would like to put, like, Holdover on it or something. You know, here's what we're going to do. What do we not want to draw with gifts for a guard? We don't really want to draw these. We don't really want to draw these. I'm serious. Uh, I, I think over the other thing. 50% chance to apply days to an enemy unit when they enter your train. This is one of the kind of rare times where I think that that actually is just exclusively beneficial. There's not rare times, but uh, a lot of the runs recently we've been having enemies being dazed we actually don't want it sometimes because of like spikes or on hit effects for triggers or we want things to die for like burnout like there's all kinds of reasons not to take this I think that I think that today is not one of those days this could really generate some serious deck bloat if we don't play the units and we don't really have space to play the units especially now I thought that might be the case all right fine fine that sounds fun that's a like that's a big unit that's a big unit it's fun to see it it's fun to see a big unit that like we we generate that value in a very different way oh. why do you have to have only one hp why do you have to have one one, two, three, four. We're gonna draw the shark next turn, and I'm gonna be disappointed. This this is just a this is a very bad draw, in my opinion. Very not great draw. So if we put this here, we still have room for the uh, that other stinker. Cause you're too. No, you're only a one space bopper. Okay. Do I even want you? Not really, so I'm going to get you here so you're just effectively out of the deck. And then I didn't even cast my spell. Yeah, that was a little silly. Ah, this sucks. This sucks. Because we want to make sure we get that that value going we didn't let we didn't get this guy any food but now he's got the food for this turn here it should be okay you're going here that's just facts okay i need to play spells i just i need to play spells so that this stinker gets activated five more spells down here <laughs> Sure. Get them stats of brewing. It's, it's fine that that guy makes it to the top. It, does, it doesn't matter. Uh, six isn't enough. We, we seriously have to plink and foregone power to get that value up there. That is pretty stank. I almost want to just take the six because I think it's worth it to uh, 
get closer to this phase thing. Because if we don't have you unfazed by the time that the boss shows up here... Okay, good. Uh, then I was going to say that's going to be an issue. Unfazed. Bump. Good deal. Good deal. You're very dead. You're like very dead. That's 175 damage. I love it. Oh! Okay, I like this. I like this run. It's so... It's so weird. It is so weird, and I'm a, I'm a big fan. Big fan of how weird it is. But if we can, like, if we could get the gifts for guard with holdover or something, that could be hilarious. Urchin Spines, it's a zero cost to apply spell weakness. Very, very good. Return eaten units to your hand. I don't think so. Cannibalize is not a bad idea, because then we could, like... We could kill the uh, one of the units that's taking up all the space on our second floor, one of the morsels, and then put down <sighs> put down one in its place. But then we can also generate. It's uncommon or rare, so they could be it could be better units, and then we also get some for the bottom floor. I don't know that I should have done that. And here comes the spell back. Oh, gain twenty five gold. Sure. I'll, I'll keep that. At the very least, I will I will ditch that one last. Bare minimum. Okay, so removal, gold, and the spells are over here. This is really just everything we were kind of looking for. We have nowhere to put these train stewards, so I, I think that... I think that we need to get rid of them. Okay. That just sounds way too fun. I just want to make the biggest card imaginable. And I will I will duplicate that. If we get the thing where we can dupe five times, I am going to dupe that five times. Very big spell. If we can get some other ways to apply spell weakness, that'd be amazing. Um, I actually don't think our build suits that very well. And like I said, since we're not really going for score, I don't really, I don't really care. As much as I know that that's not gonna... This is this, oh man. Look at that, three units and none of them can attack right now. What a world. What a world. Ah, sweep. Ah, sweep. All right, well, now we can attack. Shall I pop you? Shall I absolutely pop you? It's a little bit of a, a little bit of a waste in a way. But also, it's fine. It's okay. Are you seriously? You didn't have any food yet, still? Still? Okay, so you can you can start attacking. The stinkers are screwed now. You're screwed now. I don't know why I did that. Okay, just need three, so actually that'll be good enough. Can we? We can't do this, can we? No. No, we can't. <laughs> I should have I should have not wasted so much just to I wanted to see the big number. I don't know why I wanted to so badly. Kinda just get him out of my deck. Also we get to do two damage, maybe two damage is enough. 
Well, we do 30, so if we can generate another two, then, you know, that's something. Okay. I mean, I love, I like, I love that. Uh, damage shield is just amazing. Life steal is. Life steal. Life steal is good. I actually it should help us out. Even though it's multi strike, we're only gonna get 29. But we have 33 max health, so it doesn't really matter that, that much that we're only healing 29. It genuinely doesn't. I'm gonna get the 25 gold here. Kind of just want to consume that. Well, that didn't go how I wanted. Probably should have killed one and then consumed it. Because I don't want to draw it with gifts for a guard, I, I do suppose. Yeah. There's a little, little bit of conflict. A little bit of conflict here. Okay. All right, let's think about this. First of all, let's take a free free hit. We'll do extra damage, hip, hip, hooray. Of course, of course. And then we will go for damage. Do we have any units left? No, so then this is literally the best we can do. I think we'll be okay right here. I think. Like, we should be able to generate a big, very big spell. Okay, well, we drew that one. Okay, well, he's he's dead. Should always be doing that one. Yeah, we're totally fine. We're totally fine. I mean, Ice Storm is... Uh, ice Storm is required. <laughs> Excavation Eruption is very tempting as well with Holdover. I mean, obviously, we're not gonna... We're not gonna play it ourselves. Like, it doesn't make a lot of sense to play it for four. Uh, I think that we go Coins, Artifact, Units cost minus two. Maybe. Maybe. That lets us set up earlier. I like that. I like that. It's it will help us literally every time. Silence will only help us sometimes. Hold over. So if we get something that has hold over, we can play it in a way where it will never be consumed. And I think that I like that for energy siphon. As as goofy as hell as it is. thought of a zero cost certain spines but it's probably going to if we remove remove consume does that make it so hold on if we put this on something and it gains consume it does gain consume right like it doesn't make it immune to consume right it doesn't make it immune to consume This is all that's all stupid. <sighs> Let's find out. Hmm. 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 
I would love, love the artifact that makes it so we uh, get an extra spell slot. That would be fantastic. Spell upgraded slot. We specifically did not build for this the way I said I should and would. The good news is... Totally doesn't matter. Perfect. Definitely want to eat one there. Might as well eat there. Honestly, you might as well eat all around. Sure. Okay. Totally. Totally. Alright, we're at five. We need nine. See, I'm super happy with that uh, reduced costs idea. I think that that was very, very good. God, the RNG there was amazing. Damage, damage. It's really unnecessary. I guess I could have maybe done it to the top, but like we don't really have a top lane. We don't really, I mean, we don't really need a top lane. Aye. So we reached our 10. That's good. I, I want that back line dead. I just, okay. We could do this and preserve a damage shield and get a morsel that we, well, that we can't use. You know, just, I, I think we should maybe try to get some of these morsels out of our deck. We're just going to be drawing too many. It's just how it's going to be. Okay. Life steal doesn't matter. I really was hoping we could have gotten the uh, eruption there. That would have been amazing. You know what? I knew it was gonna. I knew it was gonna pop the front. But look at that. We, we're doing some pretty supreme damage here. I like that. I like that. I like that. I mean, I gotta, right? Like, you, you see that number, you have to do it. It's the law. Extra shield. Tiny little dinky back line. Look at that. I love how we have our normal lanes, and then up top, we literally just have them all doing their own thing. I just keep on drawing that, and I don't want to. Thing is, how, how big is our hand? Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need, oh, I would love a plus five, like that copy five. I would love it. Cause we got some, we're starting to get some consume. If we, if we cast these, then they're like, you know, a, a deed is done. I almost think we're better off literally not casting anything. So we have a chance to not draw something. Here we go. Here we go. 47. 47 times 4. Okay. It's going to be a little bit more. <laughs> it's going to be pretty good. It's going to be pretty good, I think. Yeah, this is working how I'd like. This is working roughly exactly how I would like. The morsel unit copy is probably a better idea. We don't really want to draw more. Floor size is tempting. We could sneak morsels behind things. I, I kind of like the idea of that. Uh, our deck doesn't get bloated as much. And we're not having too many issues with mana right now. 
We could go for the, the RNG fingers crossed moment, but I think we say no to that. Remove anything to remove. And then we have to Ice Storm. I mean, it's hard to say because Titan's Gratitude, since they added a tune, I think that we can go for one big number now. And I think that we can I think we can deal with it. I this is this is my concern with this run now. This is my only concern with the run. Uh is that I just I just don't need that. It's it, like it, I p taking that would be greedy is all it would be. My concern is that we don't kill bottom floor. That's my big concern. Okay, so we could obviously kill now. So this spell weakness one. So this is 40, 42 damage. To make it 84 damage. Plus another 42. That is so weird that that works. I'm going to save this ex excavation eruption because we can make it hilarious. We can truly make it hilarious. Uh, Mollusk Mage, we're good to go there. Happy we got that without consuming. I'm just going to put that there. I don't know. Probably shouldn't have done it. Probably shouldn't have done that. Can you get that out of the deck? Okay. We could obviously save it for the boss, or we could... Well, first of all, do that. Or we could pop somebody. I'm going to I'm going to pop the front line. Have we cast our spells yet? We have indeed. We have indeed. Boss phase? No. Oh my god, these are getting These are getting ridiculous. They're getting ridiculous and the thing is we're we know we're going to be able to get exactly like for the most part exactly what we want, right? Yep. On the next, next one there. Just get out of the deck. I want to make sure we draw the right things. I don't know why we wouldn't. We we basically have no chance to not. Set ourselves up there. Do we want to do? I don't. I don't. I genuinely don't think I care. They're not going to make it to the top. Like we're going to be able to just keep on absolutely buffing these all to the extreme for next turn. We could have applied this spell weakness. Here's the thing, though. They're just. It's not going to matter. First of all, look it. They literally didn't even make it off this floor. Second of all. Second of all, we just one-shot them with a spell. This is n so goofy. Oh, that's mean. It's mean mean to make me pick, but I think that's just going to be better. I think that's just going to be better. What are we at? We're at Seraph. We will temper the strength of your units. Okay. Okay. Sure, dude. I don't know what there is that we really would want to remove at this point. I kind of like the idea of the plinks. It gives me something to cast early on. It gives me something to cast early on that we don't have to be as concerned about. We can probably get rid of the foregun power. That's about it. I think we're going to keep everything else. Um. Okay, step step one, don't be stupid. Step one, look at the trinkets first. 
That sounds really fun. Uh, another gift for the guard can make them start to um, actually kind of fight each other. I just like... I, I love the idea of the biggest whip in town. Another one of those is probably good enough. Make unit bigger. Genuinely, I'm, 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 I like that better. And then you can just survive sweep this way. And then, you know, why, like, why, why not, I guess, is, is kind of my thought there. Why not, I guess. All right. This is a, this is a weird one. Friendly units enter with sap minus three. It's hardly an issue for our build. I mean, that's like, that's annoying. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's that's just that's all I needed right there. And then do not consume that. I don't know that we're gonna be able to kill this front line here. But I'm just like, that's okay. We have not drawn Shark yet, so we can't really play the Mollusk Mage unless everybody who is attacking uh, dies. We can obviously do that, though. We can actually... It's a little goofy. This does not have Consume. That's just, that's more damage than we're going to know what to do with. This we can probably, we can get it with a straight plink. Did we finally, we finally got Shark Boy and Lava Girl. And uh-oh, Excavation Eruption is kind of getting done here. I don't like this. I don't like this, but I, I kind of have to. This is weird. This is weird. We're getting down to the bottom of our deck already. We're going to need to make sure, you know, we get an expertly timed situation. Uh, no. No. Not what I wanted. That's for sure. The fact that we're not getting the... It's not going off on our plinks is what's really annoying here. Life still doesn't matter. HP sure does. Literally just get rid of the units. Okay. Where are we at? Okay. Uh, this is annoying. You want to save a damage shield. And consume the card? Sure. <laughs> this, top, this top floor is stupid. Like, if we we should have maybe... If, I don't, don't know if there was a, uh, a floor... What do you call it? The thing where it drops below the floor. This is... Yeah, this is really annoying. We actually got some terrible, terrible draws. The fact that Excavation Eruption has never been drawn correctly is super rough. Uh, I also don't think we go for a plink here, because we might as well... Oh. Oh, God. How did this plink survive so... I'm so mad that this plink survived so long. 
What are you doing? How? How did it live so long? I don't want to... I'm not going to... It's 12 damage. I'm not going to care. All right. Come on. Just don't draw the 40 damage bopper. That's it. Just don't draw the 40 damage bopper. Thank you. We should now. We didn't. Are you kidding me? Okay. Here's the thing. I'll, I'll just do that. That works for me. That was also stupid. Okay, we need to slow down. Let's let them take a whole hit. <laughs> did we actually get a hit off on it? I think we did. Alright, here we go, kind of, maybe. No. Do we just take that? You're going to take nine damage, so it's just going to be one hit. Like, I don't really want to use my consume yet. Is That's sort of where I'm at right now, is I don't really want to use my consume yet. Especially because next turn is the boss. We're going to take, yeah, we'll take ten damage. And it is what it is. We should be able to do some... Oh, my God. It never worked. I'm so mad. The, like, the, the actual RNG on those draws are just so gross. And I would rather, like, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to take this damage so that we can kill the boss with a spell. I just don't care. I want to kill the boss with a spell. And now, like, because that was the issue, is we did not have a, uh, a quick line to the boss. Here we go, though. 5,200 damage. You know we had to. You know we had to. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. All right. Well, there we go. That is that. On Covenant 16. Good, clean run there. And look at that. Boom, bang, boom. Good, solid deal. Some some units that totally should have been gold-bordered already. Stygian, sort of unsurprisingly. Stygian Awoken, sort of unsurprisingly, being the, uh, the clans that we are the furthest along on. As far as unlock progress, Melting being kind of surprising in the last. I mean, I, I actually, I think I like Melting more than the average. But I think that there's definitely cards. This makes sense because there's cards that I avoid a lot. Awoken, I totally makes sense. I use it a lot. I really like it. I think it's very strong. Uh, and genuinely, I think that um, I think that there's a lot of options that feel really strong. A lot of different options that feel really strong. So this doesn't surprise me. Stygian, I I just love Stygian. It's so fun. So fun. Big spell, big number. A lot of it's super usable. That is going to do it for today, though. We are on Covenant 16 on our YouTube climb, and that is going to do it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more Monster Train. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. And hey, also worth mentioning, uh, before, is, if you're watching this before September 9th, there's a link in the description where you can pick up this game on my uh, what uh, Nexus.gg store which is a new version of the Chrono Creator store. And you can pick up Monster Train for 20% off as long as, yeah, as long as you're before the uh, September 9th here. You can get Monster Train for 20% off and support the channel at the same time. It's actually a wild situation. It is a, it's a total legit Steam key from the devs. It's just through my store. It's really, it's a fantastic, fantastic service. If you want to check it out. But that's going to do it. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Bye.